Ja, muss ich. Good evening, everyone. It's nice to see so many wonderful faces here tonight. I wanted to invite you to discuss the future of Sandrock without being crammed into the stuffy city hall this time. With the recent opening of the road to Portia, we have access to water like never before, as well as being able to finally increase our access to trade and tourism. All of this was only made possible thanks to the efforts of everyone here at our wonderful town. So, I would like to propose a toast to Heidi, to the Builder, to everyone, to Sandrock! To Sandrock! Trudy, ess doch auf was, Mensch. I have been soliciting the opinions of Sandrockers regarding the future development of our town and infrastructure. This time, I'm glad to see everyone's excited about our future for once. We have a couple of proposals to go through tonight. So, without further ado, it is with great pleasure I introduce our wonderful Mian and Zeke to discuss theirs. Hello, everyone. Thank you for this opportunity. Recently, I have been working with Zeke on a plan to plant a forest in the Ufala Outback that could block the sandstorms from San Rock almost entirely. We've already demonstrated some success with the little woods near Gecko Station, but with portion water, we'll be able to scale up substantially. But I'm not the expert here, so Zeke can explain everything in more detail. Also, mehr Wald, was tatsächlich den Sand von Sandrock weghält. Fast zu 100 Prozent, das ist ja krass. Zeke? Oh. Uh. Don't worry, just go over it like we rehearsed. You can do it. Right. Sorry. Just a little nervous. Been a while. <clears throat> the Ufala out back in the north is, uh, really big. It's got lots of land and sand. If we plant trees there, They can stabilize the terrain and stop the runoffs. Also, das sind jetzt die Bäume, die wir schon gepflanzt haben bei Gecko Station hier. Und wenn wir jetzt hier hinten weiter noch mehrere pflanzen, das ist da, wo wir aktuell noch nicht hinkommen, glaube ich. Das erklärt das natürlich, wo die Alpha-Wand ist. Dann würde das bedeuten, dass der Wind wesentlich besser abgehalten wird, okay? Economy. Wirtschaft, okay. This isn't some small project, though. Uh, it'll probably cost City Hall a lot of money. No, sorry. Didn't mean to say that. Ja, es ist es aber definitiv wert, denke ich mal. Talk about how it'll help Sandrock. Mian ist so begeistert. Right. Uh, if we use more water from Portia, we should be able to maintain a large enough forest in the outback to lessen or even stop the sandstorms. We uh will finally get a sustainable sand rock. Das würde sich echt Das hört sich echt gut an. And there you have it. Ich bin dafür. No more sandstorms. Keine Sa Sandstürme mehr. Ja. Thank you very much for the presentation, Mian, Zeke. We've been discussing this possibility for a very long time. Now that we finally have the know-how and Mr. Musa's backing, we might just be able to pull it off. Oh yeah, bitte. Do you have a more detailed plan? What do we need to do first? Oh, uh, well, I guess I want to do a test planting on the outback sands first. The sand over there is drier and the water table is much lower. For that we'll need a small irrigation tower in the area. Klein Bewässerungsturm, das kriegen wir hin. Good idea with the test. I'll expedite a budget for that. Does anyone else have something to say about this proposal? Ähm, ich würde den Wasserturm bauen. <lacht> Makes me proud to see a guild member being such a go-getter. I knew I could count on you. I'll help out as well. Thank you, Builder. Commissioner Wei. Thank you all. Now, on to our second proposal. Heidi, if you please. Ah, ich kann mir vorstellen, was da kommt. Good evening, everyone. To the natives here, do you remember Miss Bliss? Yeah, me too. 
She was the best darn teacher this side of the Alliance. And I am who I am today because she pushed me to always do my best. We don't have that for our children today. We haven't had a school since a sandstorm blew down the old one. I'd say it's about time we built a new one. <lacht> Na, das war doch klar. Das habe ich euch in der letzten Aufnahme ja gesagt, dass das wahrscheinlich kommt. Und da ist es. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put the fear of light in me. So I've got a proposal. It's been sitting there the whole time since our old minister, whose name I shall not mention, took off. Pretty literally, her destroyed house is just sitting there. Perfect location for a school. Oh, okay, klingt gut. Bin dabei. Wow, that's so great. When do we start the PTA? I'll volunteer for everything. Ja, aber na klar, dass du nur... Naja, das dauert noch ein bisschen, aber okay. Can Elsie go back to school? <lacht> da musst du aber auch in die Schule, Cooper. Hi, I ain't a kid. I think it goes without saying that I fully approve of this proposal as well. In fact, I've already submitted a job advertisement for a school teacher. Oh, nice. Yes. This school project and the new forest will be our town's primary focus going forward. I think if we can achieve both, we'll finally get more people to settle here. Folks, we're really close now. Sehr schön. We stand ready to do our part, ma'am. Right, everyone? Natürlich. Yep. Ich setze diesmal aus. Machen wir es. This team is so reliable. I feel like we could build anything if we put our minds to it. Jens never praised me before. Tja. This is going to be a lot of work. I'll spread out the assignments amongst us after I have a talk with Heidi. We'll all pitch in together and get that school looking like the pride of the Ufala. I never used to believe in good and evil twins, but here you are, proving us all wrong. Ja, er ist das genaue Gegenteil von Jen. Anyway, I hope the meeting was useful in letting y'all know a bit more about what's in store for us. Mm, klingt gut. I'm still open to more proposals, so if you have ideas for Sandrock, please bring them forward. Let's do our best for our city-state. So let's leave it there for tonight. Everyone, eat up. Owen went out of his way to give us a real feast for tonight. And remember... Kassel Alter, wie aus einer Pistole und so. Oh, Sieg und Trudy haben noch was. Hey, Sieg. How you holding up, Cat? Not like you to be so quiet at meetings like this. Stimmt. What gives? Was ist mit Katori World? Yeah, I've got some ideas, but I'm just mulling them over a bit. You know, not everything has come up space for me lately. I'm thinking I need to slow down and think things through first. Stimmt, sie hatte nicht so viel Glück, leider. Need a friendly ear? Ah, <sighs> all right. Let's see. I've been thinking about my entrepreneurial career so far and Go on. You remember how I always talk about Katori World, right? It's always been my dream to uh I actually wanted to pitch the idea to Musa, you know, but when I was talking to him while he was in town, something he said stopped me. He questioned if I was fully committed to my business. I wanted to answer, of course I am, but then I'm not so sure. And that got me thinking. My entire goal coming out here was to create a better life for my son. But I sure am doing a terrible job at it. Jetzt mit dem Rathaus kooperieren. Das, ja, wir helfen dir natürlich. I know. But I'm afraid. Afraid that I'll never have time for my son anymore. Or that whatever I try next will fail and you'll all be in for a big disappointment. That's why I didn't give Trudy anything this time. Ja, wir gucken mal, das wird schon werden. Wir, wir unterstützen dich. Okay. You just take your time. You'll figure it out. We'll always be here, ready to lend a hand. 
Na klar. Thanks guys. I needed the pep talk. So, sie Trudy. Es ist uh, I was nervous because usually Trudy handles all the talking in a presentation. Heidi, kannst du bitte... Uh, Hi Heidi? Okay. Hey, hey, Trudy. You know, lately, I've been thinking about Matilda. Although she was a Devotion agent, she used to be kind and pleasant to everyone. Her speeches at the fireside chats were often inspiring. Naja, sie hat's auch nur gemacht wegen Familie, ne? At the time... I was envious. I thought, that's what a mayor should be. Genau, du bist der wahre Bürgermeister, Trudy. Thank you. It's not an easy job, but I'll always try to be the best mayor that the Sandrock citizens deserve. Anyway, even though I don't approve of Matilda's actions, I can still learn from her qualities. I think in the future... I need to be more confident when communicating with our citizens, so that they can be assured that things are getting done. I have a lot of room for improvement in this area. I'll work hard and figure it out. Davon gehe ich aus, dass du das hinbekommst. Sehr schön. Uh, einmal ist noch was, ne? Mehr als einmal. Ach, super. And so, my fellow sand rockers, I begin my proposal as many famous proposals have begun with the beginning. Someone once told me that the dictionary defines beginning as a point in time or space at which something begins. Or something like that. And I believe that time is now. Was will er? Ich, ich hab nicht zugehört. Was? Friends, sand rockers, countrymen, lend me your ears. For too long has our train station stagnated in development. Sure, we gave it a touch-up when Musa came by, but how long has that been? And certainly if Musa likes trains, everyone should like trains. Züge verbessern, Bahnhof verbessern, klingt eigentlich nicht schlecht. For it was four scores oh, and Gott. seven minutes ago that I began to have a dream. Uh, that of a new attraction being birthed quite literally unto our fine citizens an attraction with the power to revitalize attentiveness towards our town was will was will er ich ich hab ich hör bei, bei Cooper schalte ich immer irgendwie auf Durchzug ich weiß nicht wieso and so I say ask not what trains can do for you but what you can do for trains the answer is simple we somehow crossbreed the martel duck and the yakmal in order to produce the super flying yakmal <laughs> we ain't gonna lose to them winged buffaloes up north <laughs> was was into and was was hat er denn gesoffen what you can do for trains being uh, agree to my proposal of building a high speed bullet train for sandrock <laughs> Ja, da bin ich dabei. In addition to being a spectacle, this bullet train will produce milk on a level never before conceived by imagination. Was der Zug produziert Milch? Cooper, äh, was? Yes, just imagine the joy of traveling to and from Sandrock riding on a super yakmail. Hä? Was? Wie? Was? Habt ihr beide gesoffen? What'd, What'd you, you say? say? Hey, that's, that's my, my idea. idea. Oh, man. What's the big idea there, pal? I'm speeching over here. You got your train speech and my yakmal speech. What do you mean? I was just minding my own business when you got your yakmal and my train speech. Mir gefällt die Idee von Cooper, die von Jensen. Mir gefallen beide Ideen nicht. Uh, die von Jensen. <lacht> well, thank you. But I don't do it for praise. I do it for the trains. Die, die, die Idee von, von Cooper in allen Ehren, aber zum einen wüsste ich nicht wie, zum anderen keine Ahnung und zum dritten ist die von Jensen wesentlich realisierbarer. What in the, I say, 
what in the heck did you just say? Maybe you didn't hear me, but don't fret. I can go again. From the top. Oh, bitte nicht. Well, wait a sec. Back to me. Here's my plan. Way I figure, we just give that science feller a bunch of shiny discs, and he'll invent a machine that does what I want. Then a builder will build it. That's how it always works, ain't it? He just invents whatever uh, is convenient at the time. Um. Darf ich bitte gehen? Danke. Hmm. Well, regardless, I think I'm not too big to admit that a giant super flying yakmel it's a pretty good idea if you think it's possible. Well, as they say, when life gives you lemons, you crossbreed and make super lemons. What? What? And shucks, maybe I was a bit too hard on you there, partner. Sure, a, a bullet train. Why not? I mean, sounds a bit violent, might throw a couple folks off, but me and myself, I enjoy a good bullet that's in the right place. Put her there. Wow, <laughs> to finally earn the respect of my next door neighbor after all these years. <laughs> Put her there. Here, here. Let's both practice our speeches together. Oh boy, there's another two ideas. Let's see what's going to come. Rocky, now that we're getting a school, we'd better get prepared. I'm so excited. Getting prepared? Getting prepared for what? Oh, you know, textbooks, study materials, stationaries, and it's never too early to start gracing up some connections. I'm gonna start writing to the Vincent Design Institute's admissions office. Oh, yeah, that sounds, uh, cool. Say, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't your baby not even out yet? Yeah, that's what's done. Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. There's no such thing as too early. Most parents of children at Pebble's age already got their kids' education all planned out. It's much easier to win the race if you get a head start, don't you know? Uh, win the... race? Uh... die Reihe, man. Pebbles Zukunft. Dann wie keine Eile. No rush? Well, uh... Maybe what our friend is trying to say is, sometimes you just gotta let kids be kids. Genau, manchmal muss man Kinder aber Kinder sein lassen. Abgesehen davon ist die Schule nicht mal gebaut. When I was growing up, I hardly had any time for myself. Sure, I want to give Pebbles all the best opportunities and stuff, but uh, one of the best opportunities out there is just being a kid. Genau. I see. How could I begin trying to control someone else's life when I barely have control over my own life? Das ist auch richtig. Abgesehen davon, vergiss nicht, du hast immer noch Ryan. Uh, well, I wasn't saying that exactly. So, einen haben wir noch. Hey. Logan, did you get to talk to Trudy about that outpost idea? Außenposten? Oh, yeah. I saw you talking to Trudy before the meeting. How'd it go? She's still thinking about it. Huh? What do you mean she's thinking about it? Spit it out, Logan. Wächst sie mein Bart? Sehe ich das richtig? Well, she didn't outright say yes. She asked me what I want to do. I said protect Sandrock. Hunt monsters. Maybe get a lookout tower built. She said, sure, write up a proposal. Sure? That means yes. Ja, das sehe ich auch so. Und ich kann so einen Turm bauen, wenn du möchtest. Good going, Yak Boy. Yeah. <lacht> Glad Trudy liked your idea. But somehow you don't seem all that pleased, though. Thing is, writing up plans? Yeah, I ain't good at that. Ah, uh, you don't want to write it? I guess I could try. Although my handwriting has been the subject of criticism at times. <lacht> Come on. You guys are overthinking it. Just write exactly what you mean. Trudy wouldn't ask you to write something up if she wasn't seriously considering it. And who knows? You might even find that writing out your ideas will give you new insights. Genau, hört auf Owen. Der weiß, wovon er redet. Well, when you put it that way, 
Yeah, all right. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let me know if you need help. Sehr schön. Ähm, ich habe bloß vergessen, was ich jetzt im machen wollte, und zwar zu Hause.